Uh, who's your favorite actress? Only Amitabh Bachchan. Nobody has taken his place after he has left films. He was the only one when I was in college. Firstly, it's not a hibernation, and secondly, I haven't chosen uh, the music video. It's just a format that is uh, is commercially followed. As soon as somebody cuts a disc, uh, makes some music, um, it's a normal commercial practice to make a video and then put it onto the TV and satellite stations for promotional purposes, and that's what this is all about. What I meant by the hibernation was that uh, you stopped doing films for a couple that's of years. Right. And the first public appearance that you made in terms of a release was not mm -hmm. a feature film, it was a music video. So that would yeah. why I just can't help it, you know, it's just that the feature film is taking unduly long to come out and uh, this one was out first and mm -hmm. so we decided to go ahead with it. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Ir Bir is a folk tale that mothers tell their children in Ilhabad. Not really, it's a, it's a, it's a little um, folk tale that I used to hear from my father when I was a kid. And uh, somehow, it, you know, little things like this remain with you for a lifetime. Um, it was not a song, it, it didn't have a tune, it didn't have any uh, uh, structure as such. And uh, while Bali and me were fiddling around with knobs and, and, and on the keyboard, uh, uh, we came across a rhythm which uh, we both liked. And um, I decided that uh, you know, why don't we uh, make this a track? And when we, when we said, you know, but what are the words going to be? I said, well, let me, let me think about it. And within five minutes, this uh, whole flashback of mine when I was a kid came to me and we ju I just went onto the mic and in five minutes we had this song. Um, it was quite unique in the sense that uh, um, it's, it's spoken in Avdi, which is the language of Allahabad, uh, where I come from and which in, in the atmosphere in which I've grown up. And uh, it's a funny little story about, you know, four guys, uh, as I say in the English introduction to the song. And uh, one of them is, uh, me is the guy that's making all the mistakes. And the other three are, you know, a fairly common um, colloquial names and characters uh, in Avdi. But uh, it sounds different because uh, it's of these spoken with um, with a more western twang to it. Ek rahen eel, ek rahen bee, ek rahen patte, ek rahen hum. Yes. It was a fusion. So my first reaction was to be honest to this fusion and just give uh, let the film language translate this fusion. So I had uh, foreign dancers. I had girls from Broadway come and dance to an Indian beat, Indian beat with an Indian step. Their steps were not Western. Their steps were very much Indian. So though they were wearing high heels and short skirts, but all their steps were very Indian. I still own since fire hota hun jo jivan mein katnaiyon ka samna karte hai, jujte hai unke saath. Mere maata pita bhoat bade inspiration rahe mere liye. Baba Ji ne ek, ek uh, bhoat hi eastern, bhoat hi uh, isse kehte hain, uh, bharati ek sanskriti hum mein daali aur uh, Mata Ji uh, halanki wo bhoat hi ek videshi vatavarn mein pali aur badhi lekin phir bhi unhone apne aap ko ek bharati ek eastern culture mein adapt kiya Baba Ji se uh, biyah karne ke baad और एक ये दोनों का ईस्ट वेस्ट का जो एक मिश्रण था ये मेरे लिए बहुत लाभकारी रहा। या शो। कभी-कभी मेरे दिल में ख्याल आता है कि ज़िंदगी तेरी जो एक्चुअली यू नो इट्स मेंट टू बी सांग टू अ नाइस स्पीड लुकिंग गर्ल। सो इफ यू कुड जस्ट गेट अप फ्रॉम योर प्लेस 
yourself with a nice pretty woman that would make my lines more effective kabhi kabhi mere dil mein khayal aata hai ki zindagi teri zulfon ki naram chhaon mein guzarne wali to shadab ho bhi sakti thi ye ran jo gham ki siyahi jo dil pe chhai hai teri nazar ki shuhaon mein kho bhi sakti thi magar ye ho na saka magar ye ho na saka aur ab ye aalam hai ki tu nahi tera gham teri chust chu bhi nahi गुजर रही है जिंदगी कुछ इस तरह जैसे इसे किसी के सहारे की आजू नहीं